Hey, this is Andrew Brown and welcome to the AZ-104 follow along. Uh, and the first video in our journey on learning on how to be a good administrator is learning about Azure Active Directory tenants. And so tenants is the way we are going to group all of our users within an organization. So this is like the logical division of organizations within uh, uh, Azure. And so let's just make our way over to where tenants are and they're under Azure Active Directory AD. We'll click there. And so the idea is that when you first created your Azure account, you already have a single tenant, and that is your organization. So here I can have, I see I have one here called the uh, Hushnook. And uh, down below, I have a license applied to it. So this is the Azure AD Premium P2. But the idea is you can create multiple ones. And so these can act as different um, uh, organizations. And really what a tenant is, it's just an instance of Azure Active Directory. Uh, that's exactly what it is underneath. But let's go ahead and go create a new one. And we have two options here. We can create uh, uh, an Azure Active Directory. And I think what really is implied here is that it's a B2B. Uh, when you read the documentation, they talk about B2C and B2B. B2B means business to business, meaning that you're joining businesses and other businesses together. And then B2C means business to consumer. And so up here in the description, they say uh, the B2C enables users uh, to access applications published by your organization and share administration experiences, all right? So what we'll do is we'll go to the next step here and we're gonna need to name our organization. Um, I'm gonna name it um, uh, Starfleet. And uh, we need our initial domain. Notice it's gonna be on Microsoft.com. So we will just lowercase that. If it's already used, it might complain. We'll see if I can take that. And it's already taken. So we'll say um, uh, the USS Starfleet. Uh, oh, it must be numeric. Take that out there. There we go, uh, U and three S's. <laughs> that's not easy at all, but that's okay. I'm gonna change my default location to Canada. I think it still deploys in the US anyway. So it's still gonna say United States where the data center is going to be. We're gonna go ahead and hit review, create, and uh, give it a moment. It's saying I'm missing some information there, already used by another directory, so I still can't call it that. Boy, oh boy. So I'll just say Starfleet um, uh, 1984. And I think we should be able to do that and we'll go ahead and create it. And so you're gonna have to play around and find the name that's gonna work for you. Uh, and then we'll just wait for it to create this tenant. It shouldn't take too long here. 